Hello staff, uh, what I want to show you here today quick is I'm going to try and keep this under four minutes so it should be, should be short and sweet but I want to show you how to um, use and, and edit these time cards that I've been talking about. I think everybody has an account at this point maybe there's one person who doesn't so I'm going to show everybody email this thing out and what you're going to do is once you've logged into your Gmail account up along the top you're going to have something called Drive. right? Up on Drive, you're going to click on that. It's going to open up a new window. It's still part of your email account, but it just has all of these different files. You can see this little logo right here. That's the Drive logo. All right, and over here on the left, it's going to be something called Shared With Me. If you click on Shared With Me, it's going to have any documents that anybody's ever shared with you. Now, I'm sharing this with you, so that would be considered Shared With Me. Uh, anytime you save your own, it's just going to put it in My Drive for you. And you can go and add folders and do anything you want. Um, you can see I have four time cards from last summer that a few people shared with me. Um, so you can see they shared it with me, so that's where it shows up. All right, you're going to have a document in there called Time Card. I'm going to go open mine up right now, but it's going to be called Time Card just like this. You're going to open that up just by clicking on it. You can see it looks like a spreadsheet form, uh, from Excel. All of the different pay periods are on the bottom. You can see you can just type in your numbers, so let's just say... Uh, this coming Monday or whenever you watch this, I'm not sure, but let's just say on Monday the 17th you worked seven hours. You type in seven and that's all you're going to do. All right. Now the key is you're not going to type anything in yet until you've made a copy of it. So I've mentioned this before, but you're going to go file. And you're going to go make a copy. All right. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to rename it. I would name this your name. So my, my case would be Don Allen and then it would be time card. 2013. All right, and I'm just going to save a copy of it. So now you're going to have two separate tabs. One that's the time card. That's the original one I shared with you. And then here's your new one that has your name attached to it. Go ahead and close that original one out. You're done with that. All right, and the final step here before you can do any typing um, is you got to make sure you share it with me. Uh, if you want, you could go and type your name in here again just so I really know, but um, that'd be kind of redundant. So there's my name. You could type that in if you really wanted to. You don't have to. But what you're going to do is you're going to go over to share. Because right now, this is your document. You have to share it with me. So every person is going to have to do their own individual sharing. And then I'll have access to them. So you're going to click on share. You're going to go type in my name or uh, type in my email address. So maybe you type in 11 DC Allen. Okay, there I am right there. You click on it. Allow me to edit it. You can change the the settings a little bit if you want but please let me edit it and then just click on share and save you click on share and save then you press done what you've now done is you've allowed me to access that so if I go over into my drive and I go into shared with me um, it's then gonna pop up because I would have you you will have shared that with me so I'm gonna have a list right here of all of your different time cards and then anytime you ever want to submit hours all you're going to do is you're going to go into here, type in your hours for that week, and you can do this daily if you want, and you never have to go and really remember it. But instead of me having to track down a piece of paper or email you or wait for you to email me something, all you have to do is type these in, and they instantly show up on my drive. So that's how you're going to turn your hours in. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to give me a call. Um, let me know if you, if you can't figure it out. But the whole key, again, is file, make a copy, rename it, and then go and share it with me. And then all you have to do every single time is reopen this document, type in your hours, and then that's how you're going to turn them in.